five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Until midnight tonight, Eastern Daylight Time. The face you see before you, zooming in from Vegas, is Stephen Pearl. Look. Thank you very much. We're back with old Jews with gas here yeah. on NBC in yeah. color. Here's how we get more gas. Wait a minute. Oh, there you go. There we go. Ah. Good, how you, huh? How you doing, Stephen? Refreshing. The pause that refreshes. Good, good. Here we are. We're hanging out. Stephen Pearl is uh, is a comedian, uh, uh, or a former comedian, because every comedian's a former comedian right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm a past tense, past tense comic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> he he would like to go to work. If you uh, know any place that is open, won't you yeah. hire me, please? Are there, also your windshield. there are no co comedy clubs open in the country, are there? Not that I know of, maybe in Montana. I don't think they're locked down in Montana. So maybe like, you know, uh, they're, called, they're called, I don't get it. So uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think maybe Montana's doing okay. Uncle Funny's know. Chuckle Hut. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> the Comedy Clavern. I, I remember in, uh, where was it? In, uh, in, in, in Florida, when I was working in Florida, they had a, a series of clubs called Uncle Funny's. Oh, God. Which, Uncle is that not the worst name for a comedy Uncle club? Uncle you know, with Snickers you, with a Z and Bonkers with a Q. And, uh, you know it's got to be bad comedy if it's oh, Uncle yeah. Funnies. Uncle Funnies. By the way, there is no Uncle Funny for those of you who want to meet him. Yeah, but they used to have, they, they would, they would like find a, oh, I don't know, a, a bar or something that wasn't doing well. And then they would say, well, we'll yeah. make it a comedy club as well for you. And then they would come yeah. in. It was like franchise. It would come in with a <laughs> fake brick wall. Oh, you got to have a brick wall. And, and, and put that up, a fake brick wall. Oh, and they sure. had like a bunch of them stacked up in the warehouse somewhere. <laughs> sure. you know? And so it's comedy night somewhere. Okay, you guys get the brick wall over there. You know. <laughs> yep. Yep, this goes out. Comedy's in. Take down the mirrored wall. Find me, find what, me, find was, you. what made the, the, the because you've been around for a while, and you, you were on that whole Hollywood scene, right? Sure. You did yep. the Hollywood scene. Uh, where where did the brick wall originate that all of a sudden that became intrinsic to comedy? I would say it was probably from the early days, Greenwich Village, some walk-down club where they had a real brick wall, and somebody said, well, that looks good. That's underground comedy. So every other club got... A uh, plastic brick wall. I mean, wall. didn't even the improv in L.A. have a brick wall or the something? Improv in L.A. had a brick wall, but it was plastic bricks. Was it plastic it, bricks? It, really? Yeah, there's not no bricks. I touched them. And how about Mitzi with the with the with the comedy store? Did Mitzi, they have a comedy store? Was it just red and black? The school colors of hell. So it, it fit the place perfectly. The school so, colors no, of hell. Yeah, there were no bricks there, just rats. What and was it like working for Mitzi? Sure. Well, I never had a single problem. I stayed out of the politics. I told my jokes. I went home. She was very cool to me. She gave me some of the road clubs when they existed. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I just I just said hello. I told my jokes and I went on my merry way. I had no problem with it. You were Before doing OK. You it, were so doing it. You kind of got in with the Kinnison set. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and 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 Sam was good to you. I never had a problem with Sam either. Not a single one. Right. I never had problems with Sam. Yeah, uh, a lot of people did, but I didn't. So, yeah. Sam was actually a pretty good guy. No, not really. No, <laughs> no he, has, he he didn't knock on my wife, but you know what he did. So yeah, well, I mean, you know, he he didn't pee on my bed. So <laughs> did, would you say he didn't take uh, notoriety well? Uh, he was a bad king, and many bad kings fall. So he just yeah, he did he he didn't wear fame well. So uh, you know, he took it too seriously and. Uh, Later on, he would rather get fucked up than work on his comedy. And his comedy got crappy. It was yeah. just, are you ready to party, folks? Hey, Paul, hey, Paul. In the beginning, he was quite brilliant. Oh, he was very brilliant. He took comedy where it had never been. And then uh, somewhere he got up, took a fork in the road to the 
fame and partying instead of creativity. So, you know, and uh, he just, it just, it became, it was like a bad redneck circus. We brought those two bimbos out on the leash and he had some rock band with the big hair guys and, you know, then he'd do a little comedy and then the band would play. It was like some, it was like a redneck circus on the 99 cent store. It was sad, man. You know? Yeah. 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 I remember he started having a band where he would yeah. play with the band. Somehow Damn he wanted man. to be a rock star. He wanted to be a rock star. Yeah. So, and uh, he, he, was, he was a mediocre guitar player. He could play, but uh, yeah, he just should have stuck to him in the mic and the brilliance, but uh, that didn't go that way. Uh, do you remember anything really kind of important about that time? I mean, with him, a story that you can tell us about him? Oh, I remember uh, trying to throw furniture out the window at Crestville, having a tantrum, and uh, uh, help me with the couch. No, it's your, it's your hernia, big boy. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, it was just, uh, you know, people were kind of, he was big at the time, so people were coming to the comedy store, like, you know, big stars and Michael O'Donoghue and uh, you remember seeing him there and uh, what are the stars? All the big stars came to see Sam. You know, he do those Sunday night shows there and, uh, at the, in the main room. Yeah. And it was quite exciting, all the big hair bands and then he'd have a party in the belly room. So in the those. beginning, he was really great. Oh, I, well, yeah, he was great at the beginning. Yeah. yeah. I worked too. In, uh, when in did Sam. you see it fall apart? What? Uh, shortly after his brother killed himself, after Kevin died. Oh really? Yeah, I, I didn't yeah, know. Yeah. I didn't know that. About oh, you didn't know that? No, they, I didn't know that. Brother Kevin, uh, you know, so uh, some people say it was a burglar. I think it was like a lot of people. Say and then it. he just yeah. went off the rails at that point. Yeah, went off the deep end. You can't blame him. But you know, sooner or later, he got to mourn and come back a, a bit, and he didn't really. Yeah, come well, back. you go through your mourning period, and then you come back, and yeah, yeah, he just went crazier, and uh, you know, oh, I was gonna fuck up. Uh, he got fights with everybody, and he got mad at Mitzi, and he got mad at other comics, and this and that. Well, the story that I remember uh, that he did to somebody was what he did to Mark Marin. Yeah. Uh, now, I've never had any great love for Mark Marin. Uh, and so when Sam, I heard Sam did this to him, I was so happy and delighted. <laughs> Do you want to tell the story or shall I tell the story? How do you tell it? You seem to have it. Take some joy in this, so why wouldn't you tell it? Uh, at the top of the hill above the comedy store was a comedy store. Crestville. It was uh, a comics house. A comics house. What would happen is if a comic needed a place to stay when he was playing the comedy store, Mitzi had a room for him in this house. Yeah, exactly. And one of the guys who lived there permanently was Mark Marin. And Sam so disliked Mark Marin <laughs> that one day, and I don't know if he was stoned when he did it, he went into Mark Marin's room and peed all over his bed. I love that story. <laughs> well, the thing is that the story continues because Mark came back from picking up a friend at the airport and he, Sam meets him. He goes, hey, hey, man, hey, motherfucker, I just peed all over your bed. Hey, I just peed on your bed. What are you going to do about it? And Mark says to his friend, see, I told you I knew him. <laughs> no, really? <laughs> yeah, right. That's what that's the way I wasn't there. But that's what I the legend. That's how well, the, that's legend the legend. Yeah. yeah. It sounds like Mark Marin. <laughs> Everybody goes, how can you say that about Mark Marin? He said about me. I can say that about Mark Marin. He's uh, Christ. You know, I remember once uh, uh, my uh, newswoman, Lori Thompson, when Mark was on the show, he was doing uh -huh. saying something or another, and finally Lori, in disgust, looked over at him and said, is there anybody in Hollywood you haven't used yet? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. She hated uh, him. She couldn't stand him. Man, uh, yeah, you yeah, know, so. I put up with him. Mm -hmm. You know, but I, he was not one of my favorites, you know. My favorites yeah. were all the guys who never really made it big. Like you, guys. like yeah. you, like yeah. Kramer, like yeah. uh, uh, Jeremy Kramer, like um, um, uh, 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 Bob Rubin. Yeah. You know, these are the people I found funny. Yeah. You know, not Mark Maron yeah. with his setup and punchline jokes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you know, I. He's nice to me, so I like, guess. Yeah, huh? He's all right. He said some nice things about me. Well, so I got what's interesting, though, about about uh, uh, that time in in San Francisco, is that it really the the comedians who really developed the most in that town were people like you who were unusual. Yeah. San Francisco liked unusual comics. Yeah. They didn't yeah. like the run of the mill comics. Oh, we had a lot of good unusual people. That was very, very. And that's why a lot of comics who had weird acts headed to San Francisco. 
for, uh, yeah, for exactly for, that reason. Yeah. More freedom, more freedom. Plus, it was a nurturing community, comedy community. What? It was. It wasn't like it was maybe a little backstabby, but not much. Most of the people was like a family. Everybody hung out together on Thanksgiving and you know, and holidays, and it was fun, man. It was a it was a very good time. It was a very important time yeah. in my life. Yeah, yeah. No, that was a good time for everybody. Yeah. And I made a lot of money in those days. Made a lot of money too. I spent Very it all. Close. No, I didn't. I didn't. You know, I, was, I did coke, but uh, I didn't let it ruin me. Not you know, me. I didn't do it to the extent that it was going to eat up all my money. Uh, but I, what ate up all my money was, as you may remember, I used to take a lot of comedians out to dinner. You know, it was always if Alex asks you out to dinner, you're not going to pick up the check. Yeah, that's you right. Know? And I didn't mind that. I felt it was my way of paying back. But yeah. I think I took them out to too many. I should have saved a little. Yeah. You know. No stuffed bagel today. No, well, no, that was free. That I had a deal oh, with. Oh, This was a, a restaurant, folks, or a delicatessen called the Stuffed Bagel. Yeah. And I had a deal with them, and every day I would take whatever comics I had on the show over there, and we would have right. breakfast, and they picked up the tab because right. we gave them a plug on the show. Plug them a lot more yeah. than they deserve. Yeah. So, uh, you know, uh, so, so I, 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 you know, I, I enjoyed uh, uh, taking you guys out to dinner. And uh -huh. I knew that, hey, you guys were helping make this money for me. You know? Well, you were helping us. You, you plug a show on your show, and yeah. you somehow make some dough. It's oh. like one hand watch the other. Yeah. Oh, your your price went up if you did my show and oh, were yeah. successful yeah. on it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, we, we one hand washed the other. There's no you question. Called it about. Alan Freed of comedy back then. You do your show, and bam, baby, you had a hit. Yeah, yeah right. Only I was so stupid about it. I didn't take the payola. That's the problem. <laughs> You know, uh, yeah, but I mean, it, it was a big deal at that time. I mean, San Francisco was a real jumping off point for a lot of comedians, sure. Sure. you know. Sure. Robin um, was based out of there. You had Ellen DeGeneres come through there. You had a whole bunch of Rob Schneider came through there. I oh, hired I hired Ellen DeGeneres once for one of my shows, like at the Frost Amphitheater. Uh -huh. And uh, I remember it was being very nice, you know, nice a good employee. <laughs> Uh, but I mean, My corporate lesbian who did as she was told. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I, who were they talking to? I was talking to somebody the other day about uh, Jack Gallagher. Remember Jack Gallagher? Sure, a bastard. Yeah. Uh, oh, I was talking to Bubs yesterday about uh, Jack Gallagher and the fact that Jack um, uh, got canceled before the show ever went on, the national <laughs> TV show went on. How does that happen? They usually got to show it once or twice, let it smell up the airway. I, I told the story, and I, I can slightly tell it again. I don't want to repeat myself, but basically it was that ABC gave him a show, and it was so believed in, they took out a double-page ad in, uh -huh. in TV Guide for the show. Coming Monday, you know, the Jack Gallagher show, whatever it was called. Jack off or whatever I don't know. <laughs> Jack was off. And, and he's the nicest guy in the world. And right. uh, come okay. Monday... They cancel the show before it goes on. That's weird. And I, as I said to him, I mentioned this to, to Bubbles, and people will hear this again. I said, uh, you know, did you, you know, did you feel like offing yourself when that happened? <laughs> and he said, yeah, my wife had to pull the gun out of my mouth. You know, he said it was it was bizarre. It was just Why bizarre they? because you're sitting there one day going, hey, I got a two page ad and TV yeah. guide, and I'm going to be a star. And the next day you're saying, oh, shit. <laughs> what the fuck happened here? Oh, yeah. there was very low ratings. Well, you got to show the thing for it to get ratings. Well, you, but a lot of people will say, well, what happened? I'll tell you exactly what happened. In the, in the uh, 24 hours between the show running and the show being in TV Guide, the ad, uh, ABC fired its head of programming and hired a new head of programming who made this momentary decision not wow. to run the show. I think this show tag is quite ready for yeah. itself. Yeah. Oh. Yes, yes, we're we're oh, we're going to take. Carlton, what are we ordering? I'm going to take my first authoritative step. Yes, I'm going to be important oh, as the head of programming. Of, yeah. That's what a masquerade. And then people say, "Well, gee, you're so lucky to be in this business." Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> lucky to be in this business. This is so. 
Barely yeah. in it. Show Barely business is the worst business in the world, and the only reason we're in it is we're misfits. That's right. We're not good at anything well, else. I mean, so where it. would I get a job other than radio? And where would Stephen <laughs> Pearl get a job I other than in comedy? I tried a few day jobs. They didn't quite work out. No, you really Some tried. Comedy jobs didn't quite work Did out. Did you really try to get a day job? I, years ago. Like oh, in the years 70s. ago. Okay. Yeah, sure. I worked at the Chinese Food Express. Anyway, <laughs> you know, we've run out of time. Again, my God, it just, you know. Yeah, just, uh, hey, just, I, I hope that isn't referring to our mortality. You yeah. Know. But anyway, uh, hey Stephen, good seeing you. Can see you in a see you in a week or so. Okay, my friend. Ladies we'll and gentlemen, you. the lovely and attractive Stephen Pearl. Bye. Thank you, thank you very much. Bye. Five years and still talking. This is Gabnet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And that was our good friend, Stephen Pearl, ladies and gentlemen. Stephen Pearl, yay. Yay, Stephen Pearl. Okay. Decided not to play the COVID-19 thing anymore. You, you know which one I'm talking about. You know, uh, the one that kind of went uh, uh, something uh, like this. Okay, that, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Oh, it was dreadful, wasn't it? Wasn't it dreadful? Okay, well, but in any event, we still look at the screen to see how we're doing in the world. Oh, boy, total confirmed up around 6,429,453 cases worldwide for a total of 385,873 people. 385,873 people who no longer exist on this planet. Here in the United States, uh, we have, uh, we're up to uh, 1,851,530. 1, we're heading towards 2 million folks of uh, totally confirmed. Here are the deaths so far, up to 107,175. However, here in New York, we are only responsible for about, what did I see, 42 of those, I think, today? Uh, we're, we're we're almost we almost have no deaths left. Uh, so uh, uh, New York's got to pick up the pace. We we're, we're really not picking up the pace at all. Uh, Brazil keep, continues to get worse. Five hundred eighty four thousand sixteen deaths uh, yesterday. They were oh God. They've got a lot. Thirty two thousand deaths so far. Thirty two thousand five hundred forty eight. And they say they still haven't reached their peak yet. Russia is still having some problems, but not the same amount of deaths. They only got about 5,208. And then we got all these others down here. See all those? Okay. You don't, you don't need to know about them, okay? Because it doesn't really matter much, okay? All right. And we had no looting last night, uh, which was kind of nice. Uh, no, no looting in our town. Uh, let me see here. I'm trying to... But I'm trying to do it. Oh, God damn it. I keep having trouble getting things set over here. I have things I have to I, I'm doing everything here, you know? This is like I'm running the whole show. I'm the chief cook and bottle washer, okay? Anyway, uh, we had uh, very few uh, very few riots, uh, lootings last night. Uh, uh, apparently, we're all looted out here in New York, you know? And, um, uh, but uh, people are still demonstrating like crazy, but they're doing it peacefully and there've been no, no riots or anything like that. So what the hell, we'll just uh, uh, keep trying to do things better here in New York. Uh, we, uh, we had the night before they, they, among other things, they, you know, looted Macy's down in, uh, uh, Herald Square, uh, which is a kind of a, a redundant in a way because, uh, you know, they I think they filed for bankruptcy, is it? Or something, or bankruptcy protection or whatever. So, you know, losing, looting a store that probably doesn't have anything in it is pretty stupid. But anyway, that's, uh, that's that. Boy, it's warm in here tonight, and I've got the air conditioner going here. Full blast. Hold on a second. Let me blast it just a little bit more here. Uh, temperature uh, down. 
Let's see here. I'll get it down to 66. Let's see if I can get it a little cooler in here. Wow. Uh, it's going to be hot in the next couple of days, so what, whatever. Anyway. Uh, let me see here. I, I get last night we did the uh, we we used my uh, uh, my Skype, but I didn't use the Skype I usually use, which is Skype Preview. I use Skype Skype, the one you have at home, and we didn't seem to have any problems getting anybody on. So I assume everything is going to be fine again tonight. And I just turned on the uh, uh, the um, the Skype, and we'll see what happens. But um, uh, last night we didn't seem to have any problem getting people on, so I tonight I'm not ready to go with the uh, with the Zoom like I was last night. But you know if if uh, if uh, they screw up here on uh, on uh, on Skype, I will have to go over to Zoom. But I, I'm ready for it. But uh, but let's see here come. On. Here comes Charlie Wallace. Uh, there's Charlie. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Charlie, he was in a place last night, so we'll see if he comes. Uh, Charlie, are you there? Charlie, are you there? No, he's not there. Well, let me see here. Brian Neary. Let's see what happens with Brian. Are, Brian. You, are you there, Brian? Brian, are you there? Brian. Okay, let me try Phil. Oh, there's Brian. Here comes Phil Meyer. Uh, Charlie, you, you're, oh, there you are, Charlie. Here comes uh, Phil Meyer, I think. Where was he last night? What, what spot was he in? Well, we'll put him in the number top spot tonight. Uh, but, but, but there's Scuba Diver. Well, I guess this is working okay. I, 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 I imagine it was not. What is that? I need a cup. I needed a cup like yours so I can uh, show you every time I suck. <laughs> let me see here. Here comes um, uh, Mr. Zeller. Uh, let me see here. Let me put him in the number four spot. Uh, pop, 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 pop. Okay. Let me see here. There he is, and uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, we're. Uh, We've got we've got people tonight, you know, and and we're having no trouble getting you on. God, I was hoping I could Patrick. I, I could tell Zoom to just go fuck itself, and uh, I mean well, rather uh, Skype. Skype to go right. fuck itself and use Zoom, but apparently you know this is working fine. So who am I to complain? Here comes John Larkin. Uh, John, as you know, is a uh, is from San Francisco. He's uh, down there in the in the Tenderloin District of San Francisco. And uh, here comes Rob. Hold on a second. Let me, first of all, let me, uh, let me, uh, let's see here. Uh, beep, 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 beep. Where is, wait a minute. Uh, where is, uh, huh, I don't see either of them. Hold on a second, folks. Ah, uh, boy. Uh, here we go. Let me see here now. Okay. All right. Now we got it. There's Rob. Okay, and then I got to put, um, uh, let me see here. Uh, bu, 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 bu. Oh, I see. He's in love. He's in love. Yeah, there yeah. we go. Wait a minute. Uh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Somebody's, somebody's, somebody's got me up there somewhere. Hello? Okay, I got, I, I just killed that. All right. Okay. Okay, let me see here. Uh, no, that's that's the wrong one. Okay, you know the trouble is when you people don't put names up there for yourselves, uh, it causes me no end of grief. Let I can't see. figure out how to do that. Uh, uh, um, you need a new account. No, I don't think you need a new account. Uh, you can actually you you can change your name. I tried. I couldn't figure it out. Uh, let me see here. What what what? what, what? Ah, don't worry about it. Oh, well, no, we'll figure it out. Well, no, I mean, you know, I got time. I got all the time in the world. Well, all right. maybe not all the time in the world. <clears throat> Skype name. Okay, we don't want Skype name. But, huh, there's some way you can change the name that you use. And I can't remember exactly how you do that. General? Is it there? No? Uh, I don't Bet know. That's your probably just... 
Get a new account. No, somebody call me up and tell me because I know you can change your name, or at least the one that, you know. I Well, I mean, uh, for instance, well, let's, let me see here. I want to move everybody down. By the way, you do know that if you go to that little square up at the top now, it has three <coughs> by three grid, and so you can put a whole bunch of people in the grid now. You can put up to nine people in the grid because... They're trying to be like Zoom. Yeah, there we go. Where is the square? Huh? Where is the square? You, right, you see whether you got that picture of like what looks like a person with a plus, and then right next to it there's a square there? Yeah. Then they go drop, drop that down. Oh. See, it says three by three. Okay, yeah, I see that. Yeah. See? Oh. Uh, y yes, uh, yes, Jeff. <laughs> so I noticed that everybody's picture here is great. Pictures are good, but this morning or this afternoon, I'm watching Obama, and he's on TV, and you could hardly see his face. Yeah, he did this thing today uh, with his uh, 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 people, uh, with the Obama Foundation, and they were using Zoom, but his camera sucked. I mean, yeah. come on. Uh, buy one of these. These are, um, what are these? You're 150 bucks for a 4K, okay? And and don't I look don't I look swell? You know, I'm 4K. Yeah, I'm sure Phil is smiling that Obama looked like crap. Uh, he sounded like it, too. Actually, that speech today wasn't that great. You well, know? It, it was complete sentences, at least. Yeah, that that is. Well, that well, are you is comparing correct. him to Biden? No, we're comparing him to Obama. We're comparing him to, to Trump. Trump. Trump can't create a coherent sentence, you know. And Biden can. Remember the days when when Trump said he, he kept putting down Obama because he used a teleprompter. Yeah. Well, what happened with that notion? I found out that they were pretty good. <laughs> They're not yeah, good. It Huh? Obama was reading from up above a little bit, too. You kept seeing him looking up a little higher. I know they didn't have whatever he was reading close to the camera. That's so I think he, was uncomfortable. he was looking to the heavens. Yes. For, oh. gu for guidance. Yeah. yeah. He's gone to church, at least. Yeah. Well, he has a Bible now, so he can read that and learn from it. Uh, hi, Rob. Hello. What are, are you, you doing on your iPhone there? Just checking the weather for tomorrow. And do you bring enough for the rest of us? Absolutely. <laughs> All of my battery's low, so you're going to have to share. You know what it was here today and, and at the store in Concord? A hundred degrees. It was 91 here today. Mm. Oh, it was hot. What's the temperature now? Oh, what do you know? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. What is it? What, what is it? I, 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 I'm, I'm, it's still okay. 80 here. Yeah. Oh, 69 degrees. 84. Or I can just say, wait a minute. I can just say, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Echo, what's the current temperature? Right now, it's 67 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, expect a low of 67 degrees. Whoa, it's hot. We're having a heat wave. Ah, it's terrible. It's terrible. Anyway, my nose is still dripping today, even though the uh, uh, pollen isn't high. I went, I, it, what happened was my thermometer, which I, when I take my temperature, I take it about five times in a row. So I get a mean average or something like that, and I, my thermometer finally the, the it started not working well, because I think the batteries ran out or were running out. So I went down to CVS, which I haven't done in three months, right? To go it? get a, th a thermometer. What? Loot it? No, I didn't loot it. Was it boarded up? No, it wasn't boarded up. It, but, but nothing's being Nothing's being uh, uh, looted in our neighborhood. Now, I don't know why, except the old saying, you don't shit where you eat, comes to mind. Mm. You know. Uh, but they, we haven't had any real looting in this area that except I know of. York, 
Huh? I understand there's no Uber, there's no Lyft, there's no uh, 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 and other modes of transportation to keep people from mobilizing and going down to Luton Midtown. What, what do they do? Take an Uber and say, will you stay outside while I go into Macy's and loot? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Uh, that, that's what the uh, mayor, uh, uh, you know, uh, did that. The mayor did what? Uh, uh, said that you couldn't have the Ubers well, in the Well, the other no. idiocy of some make of these any people. Sense. The, the public transportation's all open. And and the people huh? who are looting. During the looting. You had cars pulling up to pick them up. And, yeah. And they had the pictures of the license plates. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, these people were morons. There was a car dealership in San Leandro here. They stole 70 cars. They broke in, found where the keys were use the little fob to identify which car was which and rolled out of there with 70 luxury cars. Yeah. Uh, I'm, and what's, They'll find these people. Uh, 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 yeah, what are they going to yeah. do? Paint them yeah. a different color? Is that what they're going to do? No, no, you know? They just abandoned them when they ran out of gas. And then uh, and, and stripped them for parts. You know, you think this was the Bronx River Expressway, but, you know. <laughs> years, <laughs> years ago, you used to go up and down uh, the uh, yep. Riverside Drive. Yeah. yeah, and and there would be cars up on blocks, yeah. all and up and down the road. There. Yeah, all over New York City, all the boroughs. Yeah, cars well, just one, on the sides of the one roads. Time, on. One time, some, it, one time, some one time, one time, a cop had his police horse stolen, and uh, they found him on the West Side Highway without his hooves. So you know, <laughs> yeah. Right. Bada boom. I've been waiting 20 years to tell that joke. <laughs> but, uh, eight Walnut Creek. What? It's 8-8 eight, eight now in Walnut Creek. It's 8-8 eight, eight in Walnut Creek? 88 degrees. Oh, 88 degrees. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's good. That's nice. Uh, but uh, I just want, for some reason, I want this pollen, whatever it is. It might be... Might be uh, what do you call it? Uh, not uh, pollen. It could be the other stuff. Mold. Yeah. You know, it's nope. causing my eyes just burning constantly. Today, <clears throat> my nose hasn't been dripping as much, uh, and my breathing's been okay. And now I've got my thermometer. Anyway, I go down there to get a thermometer. I'm in CVS, right? It's a drugstore, right? People are walking up and down the ailes, no social distancing. And they're nope. wearing it's and they're, over. And they're wearing their masks. They have their masks, but they've got them down here. Yeah. I got to tell you, it doesn't work down here. It doesn't work up to here. It has to be up to here, and then you pinch it, right? It's over. It's over. Watch. What, what do you Two mean? Weeks, oh, three weeks. Yeah. Don't gotta wear them the grocery store too. Yeah. How come you gotta put it over the nose? How come you can't get away with just on the mouth? Because if you, you cough. Uh, that's that's what puts out the spittle. No, 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 no. So also, so you don't get somebody else's. Okay, I mean, not that it's a hundred percent, but it's some kind of of protection. Yeah. Well, if the yeah. other guy's got one over here, then you can breathe. I go down. Here. I've got gloves on, right? Yeah. I got my glove rubber gloves on. I got the mask, right? I've got a hat. Hat. I'm wearing dark glasses, because you can get the virus through your eyes. Mm-hmm. I am so protected, you know. It, I was the guy that griped about condoms, okay? But I'm not griping <laughs> about this. Yes, uh, uh, John, you had your hand up. Yeah, yeah one <clears throat> thing good. One good thing about these protests is, you know, in, in a month from now or a couple of weeks, if we don't see a huge spike of uh, positive tests, then that's going to pretty much prove that it's really not that contagious, you know. I think we're going to see it. Don't you? Yeah. Br Brian, Brian's course. in that line of work. Don't you think we're going to see a spike? I hope so. I think so. Uh huh? I, I think so. Yeah. But we'll, we'll have to see. Now, I mean, we, remember, we, we talk about those three waves from the Spanish flu, and that second wave was the biggest one, and this could be causing the know. biggest one coming up. See it. Yeah. Or it might just be the fact that it's summertime and it doesn't <clears throat> spread that much, you know? Yeah. Uh, don't tell me okay. Trump was right. Isn't that what Trump's? No, no. They're, yeah, they're, but that doesn't mean it ain't going to come back really strong in the fall, though. Yeah, well, it's summer. You can have your summer, go to the beach, and, you know, vote for Trump. And in the winter, 
uh, the election is over and uh, he'll have already been reelected. Yeah, no, the Trump thing the thing is like about what, what what Trump said is he said, oh, you know, the sunlight and whatever. Uh, the the virus still can exist in hot weather. If it can't exist in hot weather, then why in the world uh, is the coronavirus hitting countries with hot climates? Okay, yeah. so like so Brazil. Brazil. Like Brazil. Okay, good example. Brazil. Okay. So obviously, Trump's feeling about that wasn't necessarily true. But here's what is true. Our governor said, we may be lucky because people are going out and they're demonstrating and they're getting together in close quarters with each other. But we've managed to bring the infection rate down so far that maybe people won't get infected because there's not a, as much of an infection around to go around. Does that make yeah. sense, Brian? Uh, yeah. 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 Where, whereas other states, which have seen a rise and are doing these demonstrations, may then see a real uh, uptick in their numbers. Well, my, uh, Contra Costa County opened for retail uh, yesterday. Mm -hmm. and So I had my salespeople come back Mm -hmm. uh, one day, and uh, one of them said, I don't feel good, and he went home sick after an hour. And then yesterday he was off, and today he called in sick and said he was going to get tested for the virus. But I know what virus he has. He has bottle flu. He, he got it from two and a half months on his sofa, and bottle flu is uh, it's, it's related to beachitis, but you, you, you do it yourself. I think it just depends on how active the, the flu is, and I think we still don't know a lot about this flu. So we'll, it's going to be very good data points. Bottle flu way. is kind of like this. You know, you, you hold the bottle. Yes, we get the joke, Phil. Know. We get the yeah. joke. The, <laughs> the guy is an alcoholic is what yeah. you're saying. No. Yeah. I and, don't think he's coming back. And it's nice of you to hire an alcoholic, Phil. I have to hand it to you. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Uh, he... he functioning. <laughs> what, what was that? I don't know. Some, oh. uh, did John decide to start? John's doing something. John, John just jumped uh, out. John just John, decided to John, start making a, a bookcase or something. And then turn the mic off. Yeah, yeah they're coming in the loot. John's apartment. No, I, I just, I just opened up the window. It's hot. Yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> San right. Francisco? Yeah, well, it's 66. That's hot for San Francisco. Yeah. That's a heat wave in San Francisco. Come on. Yeah. I was supposed to do a job in San Francisco, and they wouldn't let us in the building. Uh, Saks Fifth Avenue, they said uh, because of the riots, they, they weren't oh, letting yeah. in the building. I wouldn't let yeah, you in the got, building it either. It got uh, looted uh, last weekend. Oh, it they, did? They, yeah, they hit Saks and, and the Apple store. Hopefully wow. they fucked up all the carpets. Saks all boarded up. On the fourth floor, they had a flood, and that's why I'm replacing the carpet there. And uh, so, you know, everything was boarded up. The place was completely closed down. But uh, they said that they were open for curbside uh, a, about a week ago, mm -hmm. uh, curbside pickup. And well, it just happened this last weekend. Maybe, maybe, maybe that changed everything. I wonder yeah. if you can pay off any of the looters to fuck up the carpet when they go into the stores. <laughs> I'd like that. Yeah. So the is that, the, is that one of your accounts? You're thinking like uh, you know the, the right way. The you Apple. You must be hooked up if that's one of your accounts. Saks Fifth Avenue yeah. businesses. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. The Apple Store got looted. Let me get this straight. Okay. Let me look at the logic of that one. So you steal an iPhone. Hmm. Yes. You're gonna sack it. Useless. Yeah. Useless. Yeah. You. Uh, you. Um, 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 Get yourself an Apple Watch with the with the phone in it. Locked Can't use that. <laughs> um, I, I, I I think you you have a, a hard time. And if they go for the warranty, you know, well, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna call I'm gonna write in and get the Apple protection is what yeah. I'm gonna do. Yeah. Yeah. Damn thing doesn't work. I better call in for tech. Yeah. How's everything in Texas, Charlie? Gee, Texas is. Well, it's it's summer. I mean, it was 98 today. Yeah, but what about the what about the coronavirus? It's amazing because with the rioting that's been going on, and the demonstrations oh, that have been going on, we kind of have forgotten about the coronavirus, but it's still there. You know. 
Yeah, yeah, we're still having, you know, 1,800, 1,900 new cases every day. But say we're only having about 20 or 30 deaths every day. But, Do you know how many new cases uh, we had today? Uh, I, I think it was something like 140 in all of New yep. York State. And the number of deaths is something like down to 42. Yeah. Uh, that's... And, and he says he doesn't think it can go much lower because there's some reason why it can't. Uh, but he said we're about as low as we can get. So, you know, that's, you know, that's, it's interesting. It's just interesting. I think they're not telling us the truth here. I think they're lying about it. I think it's a lot worse and they're just lying about it. Well, you guys, yeah. I think some of these Republican governors have been lying about their statistics. I mean... Uh, 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 I think Florida is a much worse shape, shape than they're saying, you know. So you lie about that. What? You no, know, you got death right. They're public records. Because I mean. they, because he, because that governor is the one who let everybody go to the goddamn beach. Mm. Because that's the reason. Dying from they, pneumonia instead of coronavirus. He has every no. every reason to lie. He got hit by a car, and and huh. they thought it was Corona time. Uh, they they count. Uh, they're actually doing okay. it the opposite way, Phil. They're they're taking deaths that are corona deaths, and they're saying that somebody had an ingrown toenail or something. Well, know? that's what they're doing in New York's because it was so high, and you know they're no. We they're, he, it, we uh, we have been very meticulous about keeping these numbers, and and the governor is not going to minimize it because he doesn't want to cause people to be too. He's worried about right now about people being too lackadaisical about it now. Oh, we're only down to 42 deaths. Well, then my chances of surviving are much better. Yeah, but if it jumps back up to the 800 where it used to be, then I guess it ain't so good. Yeah, what, what was this deal with Cuomo uh, apologizing to the police and kind of walking back his statements? I think well, I can, that was the Blasio. That was de Blasio. It was de Blasio. No, de Blasio didn't walk back. Uh, Cuomo came after de Blasio and he came after the police no, and then well he, he the no he was, said that the police weren't doing anything and if you look at the videos of Macy's no they weren't doing anything okay yeah. they were not there they were not on the spot and that's what he was complaining about uh, he's you know he said he does have you know but at least he if, if, in some respect he apologized saying I didn't mean it to be taken that way uh, and um, that's something Trump would never do. Would Trump ever apologize for that? No. Yeah, you put That's it on bed. He doesn't have that. No, but would he? Okay. Yes, uh, yeah. yes, John. Why, why are you comparing yes, him yes, to Trump? Yes, John. Yeah, did you see uh, Trump had uh, secret police on the street with uh, automatic weapons today in Washington? And these guys were, were uniformed up, but they, they were not identified as police or any kind of military, but they clearly were. They were basically secret police, you know. Special ops. Now, Special ops. what did Mattis, Mad, Mad, Mad Dog Mattis, say today uh, that was anti-Trump? He said Trump's really said, pretty much done a terrible a job and has caused great distress in this country by his he's actions. Never seen a, yeah, he's never seen a president pull people apart. He's always seen them unify people. He, yeah. he equated them to, like, the Nazis. What the yeah. Nazis did, they said... They would they would try to divide and conquer, you know, during World War II. That's what they're you know they're saying was to divide and conquer the opponents, and uh, that's essentially what uh, Trump's doing. Uh, you see, as a as a as a conservative, I look and I say that's what the left is doing. You know, I, I see it uh, as how come the, nobody else seems uh, to say that though? Well, how come yeah. people in the how, wait a minute? How come people who are in the same party? I, I'm not talking about the left. I'm talking about people on the right who are saying it. Well, you, you had guys like Romney that went after Trump from the very beginning. Okay, but here, uh, here, here you got a guy like Mattis who, who, who worked for Trump, who worked for Trump, mm -hmm. right? Yep. In the very beginning, he said, and Trump said nothing but great things about Mad Dog Mattis, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. no. Yep. Uh, and this guy is now saying, uh uh. You know, this is all wrong. What he's doing is dividing the country. And then who was it? Who was it? Also, one of the other people uh, said that what he did yesterday with the uh, with the and it wasn't uh, on Monday. 
it wasn't what they didn't use tear gas it turns out but they were using smoke bombs and pepper spray pepper bombs pepper and bombs rubber bullets and rubber bullets. Rubber bullets. and rubber bullets to get people moved out of the way so that trump could go have his little hold the bible moment which you know has to go down in history with uh, uh what's his name uh, the democratic candidate who was in the tank yeah. uh, dukakis and it has well, to yeah. go down with uh, another one, which it was uh, surfboarding or was say, sailboarding. Carrie. Well, that was Carrie. Yeah, Carrie, Carrie was, yeah. It, it, was that, it, it was that kind the, of moment. Uh, what? Curf was it after the curfew that they cleared that uh, no, Lafayette Park? No, no, not no. at all. No. It was, a, it was uh, five minutes after. It was five, six o'clock at night. Yeah. No, their, their yeah. curfew was at se uh, seven our time, and it was like five after. Because mm -hmm. they attacked Trump? right at curfew time. All right. Well. And, and then Trump admitted that he was only inspecting the bunker. He was doing an inspection on the bunker. He wasn't yeah. going down there. He just, <laughs> and he yeah. was complaining that uh, I think I think he was complaining that Obama didn't leave enough pretzels. No, yeah. you know, because you know, Bush said, had choked on him he a bunch said of years earlier. The bunker was dusty. Maybe he was just giving it the white glove treatment. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I got the white glove treatment for Trump. <laughs> Uh, yeah. No, I mean, it, it, this thing that he did going to the church uh, may have been one of the worst gaffes so far for him. It was, yeah, and he called the shots on that. How do you one. pick one? Huh? Yeah. How do you, Alex, how do you pick one? I you like keep saying <laughs> you say that the worst gaffe. I mean, think about three and a half years. It seems like there's a bad gaffe every. Well, ten days. to begin with, there's to, no bottom for Trump. To begin right. with, he the murdered. He, he he basically murdered over a hundred thousand Americans by not taking decent enough action early enough to kind of slow down the progression of the co co coronavirus, and he hasn't really cared about it. He wants to get the play. He wants to get all the businesses open as fast as possible. So his, his economic numbers will go up, and he can use those when he's running for president. But he doesn't care about human lives. He cares about the bottom line. Talking about economic numbers, I looked at my uh, Charles Schwab this morning. Yeah. I'm ahead from my original investment, $9, and uh, my $1,000 uh, investment. Well, you, so, did start it, you, did start it, you did start it at the point that What did the, you invest in? Uh, the uh, Dow Jones Spider, uh, which is just all the Dow stocks. Yeah, yeah right. what, what happened was you, you got into it on the downside, so it, the fact that it went up $9 meant you're still doing shit. Well, I, I got into it on the, on the fir first drop, and the first drop was only about 7%, and then uh, it, it dropped really low, and then it started working its way up. Now... It's, uh, you know, this is my initial foray, just opening up the account, because my intention is to take my Social Security uh, payments every month and stick them in that account uh, until I stop yeah. working. Mm -hmm. Okay. And By the way, American patriots, you're full of shit. So he showed America that he won't be pushed around by thugs and look strong. Mm -hmm. Did he look strong <laughs> sheepishly holding up that Bible upside down, by the way? He couldn't. He had to hold it like this because otherwise he would self combust. He had to just. Yeah, I know. I know. Get his fingertips around. But the way it. he I was saw holding it with, up. Uh, with him next to him holding that, and then a picture of Hitler holding it the exact oh. same way. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I I kind of agree with American Patriot. That's what I uh, sensed from his good, walk good, across good. the uh, uh, Yeah, yeah is, and every dictator wants to look strong. Well, he did. Yeah. That was really that whole thing. Yep. With him going across the street and them using smoke bombs and, and, and pepper bombs and so on to make the crowd disperse. And f so he could go get a, uh, uh, a, uh, a photo op was very much what dictators do. Now if, yeah. can only yeah. get the, now if you can only get yeah. Americans to believe like the North mm -hmm. Koreans believe of Kim Jong-un that he doesn't even shit. Yeah, Charles. That would be his... <laughs> Well, that would be yeah. his pinnacle moment. Charles, sleep. Charles. Yeah, the, uh, the 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 one I saw had the the picture of Trump walking across, surrounded by all of these SWAT team members and everything, making a, a tunnel for him to walk through. 
And then it was and below that was a picture of Obama holding hands with everybody, surrounded by a crowd of people all walking together. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, John, you had your hand up. Yeah. Did, it, it, anybody seen this uh, comedian named Sarah Cooper? Hmm. Check. So yeah. Go so to, she does the imitation of uh, Trump, or she does the voiceover of him, or she she lip syncs him. Yeah. She's yeah. good. Yeah, I, uh, uh, it's just, you know, I mean, uh, uh, it's just, it's so sad. It uh, is. You know, not, not, not Trump, the fact that Phil thinks he's okay. That's so sad. <laughs> well, uh, I do think he's okay. I'll, I'll be glad, you know, when you finally, let, let's face it, you're going to be going through some medical procedures. Um, yeah. Uh, and I wish you all, all the luck in the world because, you know. You're my friend, and I want the best for you. Thank but one of the things they're going to do is they're going to give him uh, a hormone deprivation, male mm -hmm. hormone deprivation. And you watch pretty soon when he starts growing that vagina, he's going to start crying <laughs> here on the air. I, I'm supposed to get hot flashes. Matter of fact, yeah. I'm going in tomorrow for the shot. Oh, uh, really? You're going to get hot. You will yeah. get hot flashes, they say. And. Yeah. Yeah, hot yeah. flashes. It's like uh, going to menopause for. Uh, yeah, my uh, doctor. They had to do it with you. My doctor said he wouldn't. He wouldn't do the uh, hormones with me. He said we can do a whole bunch of other things first because you had your prostate removed. So all the they got is the hormones is one of the no, things. They and got radiation there. and radiation. But I'm saying, the uh, you know whatever. But you'll be crying like a little girl, and then when you are, we'll be very happy with that. You know, that'll yeah. be the nice part. You All of a sudden you'll go, well, you know, Obama wasn't that bad because he was cute. <laughs> you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm really good. I'm, you know I'm going to give you a bad time about it. Every time you start up with yeah. something, it's the hormones. It's the yeah. hormones. Yeah, it really is. But good luck with that. Think about it. Uh, you, you like to make a hormone. <laughs> yeah. When, yeah. Well, how do you make a hormone? Refuse uh, to pay her. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be here all uh, week. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, but Phil, uh, is that a, a surgical procedure? Uh, no, no, it's just uh, a shot. Uh, the, um, I got attacked. Just kiss her a couple of times. Uh, no, thirty-five times. Uh, I'm going for seven weeks every day, uh, Monday through Friday. And they're going to zap me. They're very similar. Why, why couldn't you? Why uh, couldn't you have what I had, which was the uh, the uh, what they call the cyber knife? The, uh, uh, because I don't have a prostate anymore. Uh, the guy said uh, that's not the that's not the deal for me. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Kaiser, and it's called, they don't. It's the called, cyber, it's, they use a cyber machete. I, I think they must have it over there. It's called Stereotatic. Cyber is, knife is just simply a brand name for one I, of the I, machines. That's, that's what it is. It's a stereotatic yeah. thing, but. It's low, very low dose. Uh, no, 35. no, it's very high dose, very high concentrated dose. And, well, yeah, it's. It, That's it's, why you only. I only had to do five of them every other day. Uh, they said that that wasn't an option for me. Yeah, uh, that you know, uh, because I'm, I didn't. Have, I don't have the prostate. For you, it was. Yeah, oh yeah, no, for me it was, and I now now I have to go see if if they if it worked. You know, what, but it's. I I'm sure it worked. You know, it's a question of if it continues to work. That's really yeah. the. Uh, well, I had zero PSA for a year and a half. My PSA. My has PSA, it been that long? Yeah, yeah. My PSA. My PSA. Uh, my PSA will go up. By the way. Yeah. And maybe. the reason it's going to go up is because they put all those staples in my in my prostate, and it made it uh, bl blow up like a stuck toad, and uh, that causes a higher PSA. It will go high, and then eventually, after two years, it should be down to its lowest level. Oh. Oh. What do I know? So then how do they actually know if it worked, if it's going to spike, and if that's the test, if the PSA is the oh, test? They, they also do a, a CT scan, and they look and see if they can see the cancer anymore. Yeah. I had the CT scan and bone scan last week, and they said that they couldn't see the cancer. So it's really early because the PSA was 0.02. Yeah. Uh, so it's less than one. It was, you know, uh, two tenths of. Hey, women, one. if you're listening, these are guy problems we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> and my uterus. <laughs> yeah, and, and pretty soon, pretty soon, he's going to be having his period. So we're going to be waiting for that one. Yeah. You know. <laughs> um, and, I always say uh, I'm a rag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Let's hey, see yeah. here. Oh, somebody is posting some numbers here. 
Nationally, Biden is plus seven, plus 11, plus seven. What does that mean? Uh, it's probably some uh, the Fox polls came out today, and they were pretty good. For Biden. Yep. Yeah, Biden plus three in Florida. Uh, Michigan plus two. Arizona, Trump is plus one. Texas, Trump is plus one. You're not holding up your end of the bargain, Charlie. Hey. Huh? Yes, yeah. to keep closing down our polls. Yeah, right. Arizona no, Texas voters, is a who, real do you red state. who do you trust to do a better job on economy? Uh, Biden was 41, President Trump 48 percent, immigration 45, Biden 44, Trump, coronavirus 46, Biden 39, Trump, mm -hmm. race relations 50, Biden 34, Trump. Hmm. That's uh, not as strong. Arizona. Suit. Well, what is That's Biden's strong suit? suit? According how, to Fox. How yeah. many uh, ballots do you get in Texas uh, on the Democratic side? Do they give you, you know, four, five, six per voter? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they do that. Yeah. The Wisconsin <laughs> voters motivated they don't to vote you in any. election. You've got to go hunt them out. Yeah. Well, you get them from the postman. <laughs> well, you get the them Wisconsin from the voters motivated to vote in election extremely. Biden supporters, 71. Trump supporters, 63. Uh, likely to vote? I think Minnesota. Extremely likely to right. vote. You know, with everything that's going on there, uh, you know, uh, uh, their leadership has really been non-existent, that Ilhan Omar. Uh, She's I, great. You think so? Yeah. Yes. Fucking oh. great. Yeah. yeah, we Trump. love her. Oh. <laughs> Trump, <laughs> Trump took it last time, didn't he? What? Yeah, I think so. Took what last time? What her? Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah, he yeah. took oh, the state. Yeah. Yeah, well, he didn't take her now. district. Omar is from Minnesota. Minnesota. Right. Yeah. I just wish we had somebody stronger than Biden. You know. I was, I was hoping uh, Al Franken would have run. <laughs> well, I don't know. You'd want him to run for president. So uh, you don't want well, Trump to be strong, but you want a strong Democrat. So it's a so strong if, candidate. Not we're not talking we said about strong strength. candidate, Phil. If I walked yeah. across the park. You would we're, you would say that was good. He he showed strength. We're not talking about military we don't want strength and anybody to be bringing the military and using right. it on American. And by the way, citizens. we're not talking about stupid strong. Uh, Jimmy Kimmel yeah. brought this up, and then he showed a bunch of pictures, and he's absolutely right. Have you ever noticed the way Trump stands? Yeah, so it's like he's yes. almost going to tip over. Like yeah, yeah. It, it's a thinning process. I, you know, when I pose people, yeah. I actually have their uh, tushes back, maybe against the wall, and yeah. then they're leaning forward with their with their neck extended. What that does is it thins them out. Oh, really? Oh, really? He's that well, vain that he, I could imagine that's yeah. exactly what he's thinking about. So well, that, that's why. He, well, that's basically and why he went, looks like he's about like he's about to tip over. Yeah, I, I've shot a number of weddings, and uh, you know it's, it's something that interests me. Doesn't like that fat doing. fuck think maybe he should just lose some weight? Yeah, mm. it's hard, you know. What it's, do you mean it's hard? Well, you know, he's he's up all the all the time. He's traveling here, traveling I mean, there. Somebody we, should at least um, tell him that that tiny little micro penis he has. That uh, what did they <laughs> say? It was like looked like a mushroom. <laughs> Mushroom. A mushroom, yeah. It looked like a mushroom. That was according to uh, what's her name, the porn actress. Stormy. Uh, Stormy. Uh, what uh, Stormy is used to getting, you know. Well, she's not. Jump. She's not used to anything that stubby, you know. Uh, yeah, you, uh, you, you could use you could use his penis as an eraser on a pencil. Don't think I went to that <laughs> business for uh, you know to, to to find those exceptional uh, members. What? You know, uh, women that go into the porn business. Don't know, worry, they, Phil. You'll know what we're talking about once those hormones start working. <laughs> <laughs> Mushroom dick. I'm not voting for him. Thank you, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I want to. I want. I. I, I want to see you get hot flashes while we're doing the show. That you know. I have water. You have water? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. 
going to pour it over yourself. My, my wife oh. has uh, gets my wife gets hot flashes to this day. Wow. Really? She's been going through menopause for the last 30 years. <laughs> Uh, yeah, pretty uh, close to that. I mean, yeah. it can be freezing in the bedroom, and she goes, "I got to turn the fan on," mm -hmm. and I'm going, "Why?" I'm sweat. Feel the back of my neck. I'm sweating, and I'm thinking, there. you know, I mean, hell, she went through menopause early, like in her early forties, right? And she's still having the effects of it. So, Phil, oh. maybe, maybe I've been getting hot flashes all along. It could be. <laughs> Here's a hot flash for you. Trump yeah, sucks. Yeah. yeah, anyway. Um, what was I going to say? I mean, is, is there anything else to talk about besides the coronavirus? The convictions? It, the, what? convictions the convictions today, they increased the conviction to yeah. second degree murder. Second. Yeah. And they got yeah. the other three are in jail now. So that's yeah. it. I wonder if the second is is, a, is overcharging, but I, you know, since that there's a couple of different autopsies that came out one of them said there was no damage to the neck and both so, autopsies both nice. autopsies basically agreed with each other well no, it, it both said he was dead yeah i no, mean he also dead. had he he also had uh, 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 uh tested positive for covid hmm. he did yes uh, an the antibodies no for covid oh really yeah. So that officer who had him pinned down for eight minutes yeah. is going to watch out. <laughs> yes, oh, exactly. that would be good. He <laughs> was, by keeping his head down like that, he was making sure the guy didn't spit on him. So all he was doing it was an officer. All I'm saying guy. is he, he, he was positive for the coronavirus. It doesn't mean that he was suffering, the that he was symptomatic. Okay. Right. Obviously, he wasn't, or he probably would have been home coughing and sneezing. Uh, but yeah, he, I have a question about the cop. When they t take him to trial, yeah. uh, will they exclude his record, the fact that he had 18 complaints and 16 uh, reprimands? Uh, they, they may exclude that uh, yeah. so well, that well, they can concentrate. Well, they could the ask for it to be excluded. That doesn't mean they will get it excluded. You know, they do uh, exclude a lot of that well, stuff. Well, why, why, why wouldn't that be evidentiary? Yeah. I mean, to give him a fair trial. No, in, no, in, no. In it the, isn't a question of fair trial. It's a, a question trial. of uh, of the fact that this guy has been known to do this before. Yeah, okay. I understand. That's why they exclude it, so that they can do it on the merits of the particular case. That no, you, but you also have to do it on the merits of him. Yeah, I mean, if he, if he has a character. record, if he has a record, it's it, it to begin it's with, relevant. it should be public record. And if it's public record, why can't it be? Uh, right. It's relevant. Uh, because they might exclude it. I think Jeff is trying to say something, but you're muted, uh, uh, Jeff. Oh. There. Uh, you're still muted. Are you there, Jeff? You're muted. You're still muted, you're muted. Jeff. Wait a minute. Hold I on. I can see the mute on his. Oh, really? Let me see here. Yeah, here, here it is. Okay. You go. You're good. Oh, okay. okay. Are you are you okay now, Jeff? Yeah, I was just getting some information from my attorney. Ah, uh, oh, and you talking to us. Ask Pam if they can exclude it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but she says I don't really know. But see, uh, that's not her. I, that's not her line of law. Okay. Um. But um. Uh, I, I I would think they I could. I think the judge can make that decision. I, I'm mm -hmm. Yeah. It, Why would they? I don't understand. Well, first of all, it's going to be hard. He'd have to go to the Hague to get a fair trial. Well, at this point. yeah. I uh, the only <laughs> argument that I have in in his in this guy's favor at this point is that to find somebody in America who hasn't heard about this case. Or seen the video. Well, you'd have to find from an, nine angles. Yeah, you'd have to find a complete blithering idiot. Uh, and so to find a, to impanel a jury that didn't have some kind of prejudgment about the case is going to be rather difficult. Mm -hmm. Usually, yeah. they take cases to that state to get uh, to get a trial where nobody heard anything. Now, you know, uh, there's, there's no there's, there's, there's no way. You, could, you couldn't even leave the country and find people that no hadn't way. heard about the case. Yeah. So, yeah. My, my, my father-in-law in the Philippines, where I was sitting talking to him tonight, and he, 100,000, you know, 10,000 miles away, whatever it is, 
halfway around the world talked about the protesting going on. Wow. They know what's going on. What is, uh, is it Duarte? That's the president of the Philippines? That's right. Uh, he's a strong man. What is he doing about the uh, protesting in the Philippines? Is he putting down it? Oh, I don't know that there's, there's protesting going on in the Philippines. Oh, oh, I thought he was. No, talking. he was asking about the protesting in the States. Oh. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Yeah. You know, if there's stuff well, going but, on. But, but, but this just, action, okay. this action on Monday of, uh, of uh, uh, you know, smoke bombs and pepper bombs and so on on the protesters. So they move out of the way so the dictator could go to do a photo op. It was very much a dictator action. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. un-American. Oh, yeah. Extremely un-American. General Melemicio Mil Trump. Well, it was federal property and he cleared it no. uh, it wasn't federal, well, no, federal. It's in park is federal. the freaking no. church uh, no but Lafayette Park is federal yeah, but the street isn't the, the street, the street isn't. isn't and the church wasn't also when he walked over there it looked so strange he was walking by himself like 10 feet in front of everybody yeah. like a dictator would and I know Yeah. you would think that he would be with his group you know talking and walking over there He's just walking like, like a robot. So well, he bizarre. let's be let's be honest. Nobody it, wanted it, to be seen. It, he's kind of taking his hints from the from dictators, uh, because yep. he does admire them. You know, mm -hmm. he yeah. admires Putin. He Secure. he admires uh, uh, what's Kim his Jong Kim Trump. Jo you know, Kim Jong. Uh, mm. You have him out in front of you, and the and his and he's flanked by his uh, security. They're they're looking at anyone in the, in the crowd that and they're looking at their hands and and where they're looking so that uh, they can see if there's a weapon or anything that uh, might cause harm to the president. So you know, uh, and you don't know uh, in the camera shot if they had people on the other sides, you know, clearing the sides too, even though he had a lot of room around them. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm just saying that he's not talking with his group. He's not a social person like that. You know, he's, he's very spacious with his group. I thought Ivanka was with him. No. No. Oh, look at the, he look was. At, no, he was walking. She was in the crowd. No, yeah, oh, they were he was behind about 10 or 12 feet. Yeah. I thought Ivanka. She was carrying the Bible. He was social distancing. Oh, she was carrying, she was carrying the Bible in a $1,500 purse. Yeah, yeah. Isn't, it, doesn't she read the, the you know, the, 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 what's the Jewish Bible? Uh, yeah, I guess it's Torah. Not James. It's Torah. the Old Testament. The Old Testament, you know. It's not the Torah? Uh, no, the Torah is the scrolls that they you have. Don't, you don't know the, the, the Old Testament? You're Jewish and you don't <laughs> know the Old Testament? The Bible, the Old Testament. I, I don't you know. What, yeah. Uh, I barely read the paper. Come on, do do the cottage for the wine. Come on, come on. Uh, um, uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> even even Rob knows. Yeah. I grew up on Long Island. Please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's prayer of the wine. It's the only prayer I know. For the bread. Okay. So what what's with you and you don't know what the Bible is? Oh, do we use the, do we use the New prayers? Testament? No, we're using the Koran now. No, that has nothing yeah. to do with the prayers. You know, the, you, you go to your grandmother's house on Passover, they got the prayers. You're young, you got to do them. But, uh, you know, after you're nine, somebody else is doing them. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Thirteen, I thought it was. Well, thirteen is when you get bar mitzvah, but, you know, the youngest person, I think, does the, does the thing. Oh, I see. Trying to find the afikoma. Well, I, I remember that it, what happens. Yeah, what happens is at, at, at uh, Passover, uh, uh, the uh, the uh, the youngest person reads the four questions, and then the oldest person uh, gives the answers. Right. Yeah. Why so I, I remember I one pass at one Passover, my girlfriend mm -hmm. read the four questions. And then and answered? I answered them. Yeah. So it was. Uh... <laughs> Irreverently? <laughs> Why on this night do we un eat unleavened bread? You don't want to know. <laughs> because it's the best bread around. <clears throat> Matzah's actually, I, I don't know why I like matzahs. Do you like matzahs? Don't you? Do you know what matzahs are, everybody, all you Gentiles out there? I mean, Jeff knows what it is. They're crackers. Brian, you don't know what a matzah is? It's a, it's a cracker. You could call it a cracker. 
Yeah. You can yeah. call Trump a cracker. That's no, what they call white bread. <laughs> but it's unleavened bread because when the Jews were in the desert, they didn't have any yeast. And so, therefore, they had to make unleavened bread. And so that's the matzah. But there's something about the matzah that, for some reason, it's the most tasteless piece. It's like eating cardboard, and yet yeah. you it's good. You put the butter on. Butter. Have yeah. apple butter or something. Mm -hmm. like or you that. grind it up, and you make matzah meal. And then yeah, you, make matzah matzah, balls, right? you make yeah. matzah meal pancakes. You know, matzah meal whatever. I yeah. don't recommend it to anybody. What, no. matzahs? Come on. Oh, Come on, Jeff. It's no. Matzahs. Eh, well, probably I'll tell you. like matzo ball soup. Here's, here's what, the, what other people don't don't always go. How can you eat that? Gefilte fish. I love gefilte fish. There's nothing uh, better than gefilte that's fish. That's something interesting. The red radish and the gefilte fish is, is really good. I would eat. That's I, the jellied I, one, right? It's in that jar and it's in suspended like a, like a brain well, there's in a a, jar. It, it, it's, it's a fish cake. It's a fish cake. It's cod. It's cod, mm. and and uh, it's it, then in a, a jelly kind of, uh, yeah, suspended, suspended in the jelly, <laughs> like which a, you can like either eat or not and, eat. You know, I'd be someone. And then you <laughs> then you <laughs> then you take horseradish and you dip it in the horseradish and eat it with the horse. Oh, it's just I love gefilte mm -hmm. fish. Yeah, you ever have the, you know the Irish people that they eat those uh, they're like black sausages or something. Yeah, black sausage. Yeah. Oh, like here, blood sausage. Things. Yeah. Here Black we go. Did you bring oh, it? See, he's 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 been hoarding. Those are fucking right. nasty. Who? Yeah. Well, me? How about white there fish? You like white fish oh. in that in that yeah. white I, fish I, in that white I, like in, milky in, sauce. Hey, in my in my refrigerator right now, I have white fish uh, salad from Costco. Herosis is another thing at Passover that's really actually pretty good. Stuff derma I love. Wait, wait. Where are those sirens? It's my house. It's your house. Oh, oh okay. You. What are you doing? I'm going to get you. Huh? Hey, I you. thought Tony was on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I live on yeah. Leavenworth. <laughs> yeah. But uh, you know what's great about the... About, it's up in Leavenworth. What's great right? about the, uh, uh, Skype right now is I can see all of you with your names on there. So that when somebody wants to speak, I can see him better than when he was a little circle up at the top, you know. But they still will only allow you to put nine people on at a time. Where, of course, if I had a, a hundred people, I could put a hundred people on Zoom and they'd be tiny, but they'd, they'd be there, you know. Jeff is raising. What? I, I thought Jeff raised his hand. Jeff raised his no. hand? Oh, no. Oh. No. Uh, you know, I'm looking at the three by three view, and I see the names under it, but I only see four people, and the circles are smaller. Well, what you do is yeah. you take the That's circles and you drag them down into the oh. picture. Uh, okay. Drag. Oh. Yeah. You see. Well, very cool. See? And by the time when you're through, it looks like the Brady Bunch. Yeah. Okay. Oh. And that's what they're selling it as. That doesn't work on the Windows version. It does. You drag them into what what window? Uh, anywhere into the screen. On the Windows yeah. version, I only get four, and if I try to drag a fifth one down, it changes the picture. Have you updated the Skype? It might, I, uh, might be that don't if, even if know you what update what Skype this is. It, what version yeah, of I'll, Skype is this even? Yeah, because it may not have automatically updated itself. I have the, This is my computer that runs the automation system for the it, radio station. Yeah. So it is completely blocked from getting any updates. Oh, okay. All right. That's the reason why. I don't need uh, having updates happen. Well, I mean, yep. but it's live twenty four seven. When we're off, you can, you know, you could update that. You know. No, I can't because the radio station is live. The automation system runs on the same computer. It's running twenty four seven. But well, why can't you up? You don't have to sign off in order to update the. Uh, oh, the, update the Skype. Skype. You mean? Yeah. Yeah. There's no sense in it. Uh, well, I'm just you. I just yeah. well, you know you were asking, and I wanted to tell you how you do it. Yeah. You know? so. uh, mine's the latest version. It doesn't do that it's on a Mac. Not to mention, it really works well this particular Skype. So I don't want to mess with it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I have the four also, and then everybody else is on the bottom. Well, I'm afraid to go back to the Skype preview for fear of what it was doing. I wouldn't, uh, you yeah. know. 
not yeah. uh, with all the aggravation it was giving you. This worked. Per this has worked perfectly. You know. Yeah. What was that? Well, <laughs> you only have forty-four uh, on the uh, thing. Now you got more when your Skype was screwing up. So uh, as yeah, far as people. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. I, Wednesdays are usually a slow night for us, oddly enough. Last night we had like about fifty-five at one time. You know. Well, it 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 it, it uh, doesn't matter. I'm happy yeah. the way it is. You know, I don't. Can care. you hear those guys screaming outside? Is that yeah. really? Is that outside your place? Yeah. <laughs> what What are they screaming? Just just crazy guys screaming to themselves. Well, is is the tenderloin still as bad off as it was when I was growing up there? Oh, it's way worse. Way oh, worse. really? Oh my God. How long have you been in that apartment, John? A uh, year? Um, too long. Well. I, I've been here for... Uh, so I had a really, really nice apartment in Potrero Hill for 20 years. And then these guys came and evicted me. And uh, and I rented this little studio for 1300 a month. And so I've been here about five years. Why did they uh, kick you? Years. Why did they kick you out? Because they just, you know, wanted to... They wanted to jack the rent up and kick everybody else out, you know. Oh, okay. Just move in. If they move in, the owners move into the unit uh, and yeah. stay a certain period of and, time. In San, Francisco, in San Francisco, they wanted to condo it, you know, to yeah. sell it off in condos. Okay. It, it was, it, if, it was mm -hmm. a six-unit building. Because if I remember correctly, in San Francisco, it's kind of uh, a, a little easier for them to throw people out of apartments and things like that. Uh, they it, had to pay me 50000 though. Oh, yeah. whoa! I'd leave. But you know what? That yeah. that's not that much when you consider because I I I'd moved in in like 1990 and I was paying 1,100 bucks for a two bedroom with parking and a nice view of the bay wow. and everything, you know. And wow. it, it, for, to rent that place, when they kicked me out, it would have cost probably five grand. Yeah. So, wow. you know, yeah. Holy yep. shit. Yeah. Wow. So they'd reach them pretty quickly. Yeah. Hmm. So uh, I mean, read today that rents in San Francisco went down nine and a half percent. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. All the business is going out. Cost yeah. of rent. Well, we're wondering what's going to happen uh, once once apartment. once the uh, once some of the restaurants come back and so on. How many of them are actually going to be coming back? Uh, yeah. You got to wonder if if at some point cities will be. People will want to get out of cities with pandemics and especially if we really don't come up with any kind of, you know, vaccine for 10 years, let's say. Well, I wish you I know, would. If people I say the hell yeah. with it, let's just get out of the cities and it'll right. bring the values of the cities down and then the suburban prices will shoot up. Actually, I mean, I wish I were living where Jeff lives right now. At least he, he I'm, I'm sure you get to go out occasionally, right? You drive the yeah. neighborhood or go you. On. You know, or you get in your car and you go somewhere like a mountain somewhere where there's nobody and you get out and you take a walk, you know. That's what I have here. Exactly. I don't have that here. Here, yeah. I'm, I'm getting squirrely. I went out today to go to the, uh, to the drugstore and I went, you know, if I really wanted to go out and do something, I can't get on a subway to get there. Uh, it turns out that Uber and Lyft are raising their prices 25%. Yeah. Right, so I'm really trapped unless I want to go take a chance on the subway, you know. Uh, what, yeah. Hmm? Well, yeah. Have you thought about uh, renting a car and just? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I'd rent one from Hertz, but then I heard they were going broke. <laughs> so you know. Um, no, I mean, yeah, I could rent a car and do that. I, you know, but. Uh, yeah. And even if you just moved up north a little, maybe, you know, uh, Harrison or, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, but uh, my wife there. still has to work. Now, it all depends. But you I can mean, take we're, the Croton Harmon train. Well, we're going to uh, see right. we're, we're going to see what happens now that this people are starting to go back to work, whether she's going to have to go into work or whether she can work from home still. And whether maybe she can maybe two or three days a week work from home and the other days go in when she has to to do work in which she has some stuff she has to do there. Uh, because 
quite frankly, it's worked out okay. She's kept everything going for the office from here. Are you know. they going to be able to continue to make investments as a Chinese bank? Uh, you know, Trump is. They're not down a Chinese from, bank. It's not a Chinese bank. No. The, I, I the bank the it's owned by a bank called Citic. This is yeah. Citic uh, Partners or whatever. This yeah, is a they, this is a fund organization, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, they have no problem. They're they're incorporated in I think Delaware. I know, but isn't uh, it sort of uh, the They're businesses in, with Chinese ties, the ones that Trump is going after? He's going to have a hard time getting everybody. And plus the fact that this company, I think, is incorporated in the United States. You know? yeah. So uh, just because it's owned by some Chinese bank uh, doesn't... So what, are they, what are they going to do? They're going to close down every HBC bank in America? Yes, yeah. yes, Rob. Did you know that um, the FCC has finally approved complete 100% ownership, foreign ownership of radio stations? No. So that, yes. In fact, uh, there's, there's, uh, there's a bid now for a foreign entity to buy Cumulus, I heard uh, a rumor, Cumulus yeah. Broadcasting. Wow. That yeah, they, uh, and that happened in 2016, believe it or not. That, I, I didn't hear it until I read it today. It shouldn't be allowed. It shouldn't be allowed. It shouldn't be There's allowed. some minority ownership of radio in this country, but um, they're allowing, you know why? Because, and people were saying, well, why doesn't the NAB stand up? And, and uh, the, the, the discussion group I was on, they said, well, the NAB wouldn't because they, they represent radio folks and radio companies are happy about this because it may drive the price of radio stations back up so they could sell. Wow. Wow, yeah. that's scary. Imagine that. That's scary. Imagine that's Russia scary. buying, a, you know, a, like a like a, a cumulus or an iHeart or a. But doesn't know, all this have to be approved by the FCC? They approve it. Yeah, it, yeah it's 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 uh they've already approved it. 2016 that happened. Jeez yep. Almighty. Hmm. It's crazy. It's, it's the end. Sorry. Oh, it's the no. It's the it's end the of end. the world as we know it. It's yeah. the end. Well. You know, the Washington Times, which is a very conservative newspaper, was owned by uh, Sung Yun Moon from the uh, mm -hmm. uh, Korean, uh, uh, you know. The was, cult. Yeah, he was a yep. cult crazy. Yeah, uh, but it was he, a cult. Yeah. Well, it was the, a cult. He didn't interfere with the editorial uh, portion of, uh, of that paper. Well, let uh, me ask you this. What year was that? Uh, that's probably 1990, 80 something. Is he still alive? I'm not sure, but gotta, the, the, the rules have changed. Everything has gotten so lax. Yeah, but you can uh, do anything you want. But you know, there's an example of a, of a possible crazy uh, owning a, a station or, or a newspaper with a specific bent uh, that wasn't his. And, uh, you know, there was no interference. So maybe they can own things and, and not uh, yeah, make a problem. That's a, that's a pipe dream. Somebody well, Russia's said, got their own radio station and TV station here. Yeah, RF, R, what is it called? RT? RF something? Russia R Today. RT. RT. RT, but it's yeah. not, it's yeah. not, it's, it's a, uh, it's a cable network. It's but, not. And also we know don't. that, right? Yeah. We know that. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Radio stations. Well, my friend uh, you don't know. Yeah. just says Moon lived in Tarrytown. Uh, uh, Sung Young Moon. The, mm -hmm. uh, hey, he would know. I mean, he grew up in Scarborough. What, what do they call it when he wanted to show his ass to somebody? I wonder. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, that's it oh, for tonight. Him. That's it. What? He mooned him. <laughs> he mooned him. Yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, Phil, thank you so much. You've been rather uh, decent tonight. You know, and just wait till those hormones kick in, man. We're going to be crying like. Yeah, well, good luck tomorrow, Phil. You want to squeeze him. And good luck, Phil. You know, we we wish you the best. Thanks. And, and uh, uh, Pamela Zeller, so nice of you to be here tonight. Are you taking the hormones, Jeff? Yeah. <laughs> wait till the beard starts to fall out. Because his thing says Pamela Zeller. Uh, yeah. John Larkin, always nice to see you, John. Charlie, love you to death. Brian, you too. The best thing has happened out of the coronavirus is you calling. Yeah. Uh, Rob Alfano, thank you so much. And, of course, Kevin. He's been a little quiet tonight, but uh, sometimes he's cool and sometimes he 
goes crazy. Uh, uh, thank you so much, Kevin. Everybody, why don't you give a big wave goodbye, and I will wave back at you, and then you will slowly fade out, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel perfectly working Skype tonight. Again. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Am I happy for that. Okay, anyway, that's it for our uh, our uh, show for tonight. Um, the next is the intersection with our good friend, uh, Jack Bishop. Uh, I will see you again tomorrow night. Yeah, at uh, 1030 Eastern Daylight Time. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Have a nice night and stay safe, okay? Wear those masks. <laughs>